first picking trip of the year for Mason. It is February, or excuse me, uh, March 2nd, I believe, 2013. And here are my finds. So let's go over them. Let's start with the one I've had the longest. Uh, I actually think I got this one uh, back in January. Uh, yeah, right around January. It is a Coca Cola. Six ounce, well, six and a half ounce actually bottle carrier. I believe it's made out of aluminum. It's got this extending carry handle. Uh, these little Coca Cola signs in here are really, really rusty. But uh, what they do is down inside there, they fold over and that's what holds them in. So I should actually be able to take that out and possibly get it redone. Plan not going to do that though. And uh, let me see here. Uh, over here. Got a bottle. And it was a six and a half five. This is one I already had that used to go like right in there in front of Diet Seven Up. But uh I just had to put it with uh, all my other Coca-Cola stuff over there. My room is a big mess right now. So uh that goes to that. I've had this for a while, so that's not actually included. Um this was like eighteen bucks though. I just I thought I'd buy it. It was the only thing I bought that day, so I mean it made me happy, I guess. I didn't really see anything else. So, uh, there's fine number one. Fine number two was not actually bought, it was given to me. They were going to throw these away at school. These are Michael Jordan Wheaties posters. Uh, this one sort of looks like the cover of Wheaties box, and then if I can find a way to open it, one hand. It opens up to uh, this picture. There was like four different pictures. Uh, this is well, obviously one out of the four. Uh, I thought it was pretty neat. Then there's these other two. These two are basically just giant blown up pictures of Michael Jordan and they go together uh, sort of like this right there and then there's also a headpiece but I do not have that one so I have two out of the three body ones and then one out of the four of these posters these are going to go down in the man cave in the basement I'll show you when uh, we get that done but that'll be quite a while uh, next up here this is a Victor Tackle box I actually bought one of these um, last year at a yard sale, my community yard sale, uh, and that was actually in a video that never got uploaded uh, for reasons. Uh, that was a video that Tanner and I made together. Oh, it must have been a year now, plus a year plus. Uh, so this one's a little dirty. Uh, it's really rusty on the outside. There's nothing inside. The one that I bought last year was full of nice stuff. Ooh. <laughs> but this one's bad. You can still read Victor though. These are from Pennsylvania, and I believe. The, let me grab it real quick. Bobbit bait boxes are apparently meant to go with these because every time I see one of these on eBay, I see a bait bo uh, Bobbit bait box with it. So that was neat. The one I bought last year, the latch on the front also didn't work. This one works just fine. So it's cool. It's a uh, rough shape, but I thought I'd buy it anyway. I believe this one's uh, 8 bucks. Next up, I bought these two patches. Let me try to open the bag one handed. Maybe. Alright then, uh, one is, this is obviously a mental clay 12 gauge shotgun, it's for uh, federal ammunition, this is, uh, I believe this is for a skeet shooting competition, for hitting 25 straight um, skeet, like not missing a shot, and this is a uh, National Rifle Association NRA member, Junior 1963, there was also one from uh, 1962. But uh, they're both four bucks, both these patches, and there was a second one, like I said, that was also four bucks, but I only wanted the one. Uh, no particular reason, just, I don't, know, I don't know, I just guess I felt I didn't need both of them. So, uh, that's pretty neat. Gun stuff is uh, in pretty high demand right now with all these uh, laws getting passed around and whatnot. So, uh, I thought that was a cool find. What would a Mason video be without bottles? So, uh, here are the bottles I got. <laughs> Obviously, they're wrapped up, so I gotta get them out to show you guys, right? First of all, these, there should be two in this one, you know you see the one peeking up to the top there, this is one Coca-Cola six and a half that I bought for in there, this is another Coca-Cola six and a half that I bought for in there, so which is silly, but I get rid of that. Uh, is this the right one I'm looking for? Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> yep. Then a third Coca Cola six ounce for in there. So I now have three six ounces for in there. These are much, much newer than that one is. I believe the oldest one in, out of all these is like. <laughs> Oh, I'm not even sure to be honest with you. I didn't check, I don't believe, but this one is much, much older uh, than these ones. But it doesn't matter. Uh, I just wanted to fill it up. It doesn't really matter what they look like to me. I uh, just wanted to get some more six ounces to try to fill it up. I saw a few more, but they're in really bad shape compared to these ones that were all pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, I figured I'd buy them and just hope to find some better looking ones later. So, um, even though Coke and Pepsi are the main two companies, as you can see back there, I do have that 7-Up 6-Pack that is not yet complete. Oh, yes, it is complete. Uh, so there's, I believe that's the 6-ounce sizes, uh, pretty sure. And then, zoom out a little bit. Come up here, I have the 12-ounce sizes and 7-Up. Well, that wasn't enough, so I bought another carrier. These are the 7 ounces. Yeah, those are 7-Up, uh, that's right. That is a 7 uh, ounce size. I don't believe 7-Up actually made 6 ounces. They went for 7 because they're 7-Up, obviously. Uh, this one is not as old as the other ones, I do not believe. Uh, the bottles are all in here. I probably should have got them out beforehand. I'll be back when I get these all out. So the bottles themselves are not all from the same year. They're not all original to this one. Uh, this is the only one that has a crack in it, by the way. It's just missing a huge chunk in it actually feels like it's always been like that, like that's how it was almost made. But I don't think that would have made it past their assembly line. They probably would have checked for that kind of stuff, so it probably was broken at some point. Might have been exposed to some heat, which is why it feels natural, I don't know. Um, but I believe this was six, yeah, six bucks. Uh, the bottom on this one is pretty bad. Uh, it's not like really ripped up. Uh, like that one, that one is horrible. Uh, I remember buying that one, the bottom ripped out. It was really bad. So. This one's not as bad. I figured I'd add another one uh, to the collection. So I bought it relatively cheap, so a uh, pretty good find. Next find. Last find of the day is a pretty big one. You see I have two 7-ouncers, one 6-pack of 12-ounce. Well, why not an 8-pack of 12-ounce? I believe these are 12s at least. No, I'm sorry, these are 16 ounces. 16 fluid ounces of 7 up, 16 times 8. I'm bad at math, so I'm not going to do it. That's well over 100 ounces, though, I believe. I'll put the exact number somewhere up on the screen, like do do do, uh, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, this was 9 bucks, I believe. So, 9 bucks for 8 bottles in this case. This carrying case, and I'm not gonna lift it up with the bottles in there because I honestly, I don't, I don't trust any of the cases I have. Even if the bottom's not bad, like that one wasn't, I, uh, I still don't trust it. I carry it from underneath, so I'm not gonna try to lift this up right now. But um, yeah, these were. I already said they were nine bucks, and all the bottles are in pretty good shape. And they're all mismatched years. They're not all original to this sex, but, uh, excuse me, six pack. But it doesn't matter because they are all uh, the same style. And I believe they're all within three years of each other. I think the lowest is 76 and the highest is 79. Not sure on that, though. I'm pretty sure when I check them. So, yeah. Uh, this was a really good find. Uh, this is probably... I, I would say that this is my favorite find from today. I went to uh, three different places. They're all indoor flea markets slash uh, market houses kind of thing. Um, and uh, I, I came out on top. I believe I spent... Oh, going to go ahead and say like 60 to $70, uh, maybe. Let's see, uh, I guess about $5 for those three, six ounces, uh, five then, six for that, 11, eight for that, 19, nine for this, 28, then four for both of those is what, 32, $36, so I was way off there. I didn't spend uh, as much as I thought I did. Uh, did I count everything? I believe I counted everything. So uh, yeah, I came out on top today, uh, made some good finds. They're gonna make great ads to the collection. Uh, obviously, picking season is right around the corner. Summer's coming up quick. 
because lots of flea markets. I'll be going to a flea market pretty much every Wednesday and Saturday, as far as I know this summer. I know majority Wednesdays will be at um, flea markets. So, uh, yeah, there's good news for you guys. Lots of videos coming soon. I know I don't upload often. That's my own fault. I don't go out a lot, uh, at least picking, I should say. Uh, I'm sure Tanner will have a video soon. Uh, this is mine, obviously. Uh, thanks for looking at my finds. Here's just a quick overview of everything once again. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you have any information on any of this stuff uh, that I might have missed, I don't know, then like the Victor Tackle Box, I guess, how I was talking about the Bob Bait Boot Box. If you don't know anything about that, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.